Hi beautiful, welcome back to my channel. Alright, today I'm going to talk to you about sunscreens. I'm going to make this quick and sweet, alright. I found two um, in the years that I have been alive, and it's it's been some time, um, that are wonderful, especially, they're wonderful all year round, but they're especially really, really good for me in the summertime. So, as you may or may not know, I have very oily skin, and American sunscreens tend to just make me an oily, greasy, makeup sliding off the face, hot, dirty looking and feeling mess. And I found two sunscreens that are not from this country. In fact, I think they're Japanese that work great. They're almost too amazing. So the first one I, I found and I tried was uh, this one. And they are actually both from Biore, but they're from their Japanese line. The first one is called Biore UV Perfect Face Milk. And it has an SPF of 50 plus. That's right, 50, 5 0 plus, and PA plus, 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 so four pluses. So that means it's broadband everything. Amazing. So here's what it looks like. Let me get a shot for you. Biore UV Perfect Face Milk SPF 50 plus, PA plus, 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 plus. So this stuff I stumbled upon on Amazon which is where I get most of my things. Um, it took a while to come because it came from Japan. I think uh, you may be able to find some of them nowadays. Same stuff, but Amazon might have them. So it will say, you know, this stuff um, by whoever brand or their company. But it will say, if, if Amazon has it, it will say fulfilled by Amazon. So if you can find it with that, get that one because it'll get to you within uh, two days or three days however long you want to pay for the shipping situation so this is what it looks like let me get in close again for you it's very liquidy so you have to shake it up well so I found this one I loved it at first and I'm going to show you why so you take the lid off this little screw lid and it's very very watery as you can see and you rub it in and it looks just like a sunscreen. It's gone already. Like it's in my skin. It's in there. The thing that I wasn't crazy about with this one is that it does leave a slight white cast on me. I am brown, obviously. Um, but it does leave a slight white cast on me. Now that's fine if you're just going to put foundation over top of it. It's great. But if, you know, on those lazy days you just got to run to the grocery store or whatever and you just want an SPF on, you don't want to have a white cast on your face. So I kept looking, but and I'll show you the second one in a minute, but that's what it looks like. It's all into the skin. I find that this, in my opinion, is a darn good dupe for this very expensive Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer. So yes, I had this. This is great. Um, I'll show you on my other hand, on a part of my other hand, what that looks like. Same thing, not as watery. But looks the same, and I put more on that hand, but looks the same. And for me, because of, again, I'm brown, it does leave a slight white cast, which I don't really mind, like I said, if I'm going to put foundation on over top of it. Um, they are almost identical, in my opinion. If anything, this um, sunscreen is makes my skin a little softer, even. In terms of mattifying, I think after a few minutes it settles in. It does help to mattify my face and keep it looking good. But because I didn't like the white cast, I did some more digging, and I came up with this one. It is also by Biore, like I said earlier. Biore UV Aqua, Ri Aqua Rich Watery Essence SPF 50 Plus PA++++. Alright? Ignore my nails. That's a whole other video, man. Nail polish does not stay on my fingers. 
whatever. All right, we're talking about sunscreen. So, this stuff, I'll show you what it looks like. It has a slight um, citrusy kind of smell, and it looks different. It's pale yellow or beigey color. You can't really tell on camera, but it's a pale beigey color. And it feels like water. It feels really like nothing more than water with maybe a hint of lotion in it. It goes on, it absorbs almost instantly into your face, so you can use more of it, probably as much as we're supposed to use, um, without it feeling greasy or anything like that. It does not leave a white cast. So let me show you again. This one does not leave a white cast. Okay? It's fantastic. It doesn't do a whole lot in terms of mattification, but it sinks in so that it doesn't add any oily layer or anything like that to my skin. It is a uh, freaking amazing. All right. Both of these you can get on Amazon. Um, they're both around the eight to twelve dollar mark. Um, there's not a lot in here. In fact, I don't know how much is in here in either one of them because everything is in Japanese or some other language on the back. I don't know. Um, I'm going to say there's more in this one than this one. They're probably, I don't know. Oh, this one is 30 mils. I just saw that. Uh, this one is 30 mils, so an ounce. This one, I can't. The blue one, I don't know. I don't know. If I can find it, I'll put it down below. Um, but this one probably has twice as much. It's not a lot of product for the price. However, they last. You don't need a ton on your face to get the job done. And they work exceedingly well. They don't add to my oily skin problem. They don't turn greasy and make my makeup slide off. If anything, they're pretty darn good primers as well. Um, they're great and you need a little bit I mean you need probably I use about a dime to a nickels worth of this and this probably like less than a dime's worth of this but it leaves a white cast like I said anyway these are the best sunscreens I have ever found in my life if you have oily skin you will love them if you have dry skin I still think you'll love them. Just put your own moisturizer on first, let that sink in, and then put this on as well. I'm telling you, they work really well. I can be out all day in the sun. Any um, old acne scars I have that are brown or whatever, as long as I have this on, they don't get darker, they don't stay long, they just fade away like normal. This stuff's amazing so I highly recommend either one of them but this one is my favorite and I'll show you one more time aqua rich watery essence SPF 50 PA plus 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 so there you have it if you are in the uh, market for a sunscreen for your face because of the price of these I wouldn't smear these all over your body but you could if you really want to I just use these for my face I don't really care what sunscreen I put on my body because if I look a little oily that's all the better to keep the ashiness away no I mean so for your face I'm telling you I've had these I last me gosh I would say at least three to four months one of these and this is the smallest one this one has lasted me almost six months and I use it a good five or six times a week so yes okay so there you go I hope you enjoyed give them a try I'll leave links down below if you're interested thank you so much for watching have a great rest of your day and I will see you soon bye guys